So today we're going to be making some more hair pellets, but first I need to mow this field. You're probably wondering, why are you making swaths? Well, it's a lot handier from a tether. I miss less pieces, otherwise if it's spread out, I tend to miss quite a few pieces. So yeah, I need to get this mowed first. So let's leave this mower at the farm. And now we'll get our auto stacker, which is down at the store. So I'll take this tractor and drop off the baler. And yeah, I'll go and collect the bales I just made. Oh great, it won't support the bale. The bale's not supported. So I don't know how I'm going to shred it. Because the shredder will not allow me to shred the round bales. So I'm getting a bale spike and I'll have to move them basically without the auto stacker. But... I've got the auto stack and feature on that, you know, just the customization. Yeah, just like auto stacking it. Now it takes two bales at a time. So yeah, that's that's it really. It just looks like that. Alright, next thing we need to do is get the tether, and the John Deere tractor is going to be the perfect tractor for the job. Oh good, my controller ran out of battery. I must use my other controller. Alright, let's get a front loader for this tractor. I thought this bale shredder used to attach to the front loader. Why does it not attach to this one? Let's try this bale shredder. My idea is to shred the bale and bale it with the Crone Primos. I didn't bale with it for a long time because it used to always stop on me if I went a wee bit too fast. And also, yeah, it didn't have a very wide pickup. But now it seems to be alright. But this bale shredder will not accept brown bales. It only accepts straw bales that are square. And yeah, I can't use this one. So I'm going to have to buy some sheep if I want to get rid of the round bales. Alright, let's buy some sheep. I need a right few for this. We're going to attempt to almost fill the field. It's going to be nearly full. So close to full, but it's obviously not full. And this water tanker, it takes several loads until this trough is full. So I think I need another idea. How about we get a lorry with, you know, the wee tanker in the back? I got it in Greenwich Valley. It's a mod, available on Modhub for all platforms. So yeah, you can get it if you want. 
This thing takes several loads, so I'm about to get my lorry. Here it is, this is the lorry I was talking about. So yeah, you can get this one on Mod Hub. This one has a way bigger capacity. It can hold slurry, water, and milk and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's a perfect thing for me. As you can tell, I have loads of sheep. They take many bales because I've got so many. So I just decided to buy some round hay bales to make use of my auto stacker. And then my idea is to basically tip the auto stacker and unload the bales at the trough. And then the sheep will take it all. Hopefully they do take it all. Well, hopefully not because them um, bales are really expensive even though I've got loads of money. That's how I made the take. Yeah, only four remaining. It can stay there and it can go into a trough by itself. It'll, it's just in the trigger and then it'll just take the bales when the sheep need it. Okay, right, let's go and get the wind rower. It's up at our farm, in, you know, the shed where the tether was. And yeah, there it is. That is the tether. It mustn't have been recording when I got it. So, yeah, I just went up to the farm to get the wind rower, and now I'm rowing it up. And yeah, they're going to be good-sized swifts. Hopefully my chrome Primos can actually take up all that. My Chrome Primos is doing well, you know. Giants have put the speed to the max speed it can do. It, it, I, we used to do any speed, like up to 15 miles per hour. Now it's just 6 miles per hour. It's so much better now. Okay, let's put the pellet cell point a bit closer instead of putting it way, like way over there, like far in the distance. So it's a lot closer. These pellets were getting stuck to the pellet fork, so there's a right bit of thaffing around there. And yeah, that one had to flip over. It was a bit stressful trying to get it up because it was like basically tipping over again and again and again. Now I just sold it there.
All right, let's go over to the field and get the next load of hair pellets. Wow, that was so close to getting full. I only got a few missed pieces from this field over here to see if I can get a full load and it's now full. Let's bring back the bale shredder and let's go over to our pelletizer yeah, and keep the shredder attached for the time being so I don't lose it. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I must get on to survive roleplay. By the time this uploads, it's probably going to take an hour or two hours because of our bad internet. And I'll see you in survival roleplay. So bye for now.